So all these trig functions that you guys have been learning about, they have even and odd properties. And so if you look, cosine and secant are the only even ones. So cosine, you just have to remember cosine is even, and then its reciprocal is going to be even. And then um, sine, tangent, and then their reciprocals are odd. Now you might be saying, okay, what does that mean to be even or odd? So here's the cool part. Here's the property that you need to memorize, you need to know, and you need to be able to use. That is, if it's an even property, if I want to know the cosine of a negative angle, it's going to be the same as the cosine of a positive angle. So let me show you that on the unit circle. So 30 degrees would be about right there. Remember, cosine is the x value. x is long. So cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. Now negative 30 degrees is right here. Now look at, they both share the exact same x side. Okay? They're both right here on the x-axis. So it's still going to be root 3 over 2. So cosine of negative 30 degrees is still positive root 3 over 2. So even though we change it to be negative angle, the answer is exactly the same. Now for the odd ones, what happens is if I'm looking at the sine of 30 degrees, that is the y value, which is short, is a positive one half. But if I want to know the sine of negative 30 degrees, it's still going to be that one half. But now, if you look, I'm in the negative section of the y axis, so this will be a negative one half. So if you're looking at sine, if you had sine of 30 degrees, you know that the sine of negative 30 degrees would be the exact same answer, only negative. Okay, so you continue on thinking about that. Um, if I know that the cosine of 240 degrees is negative root 3 over 2, then I know the cosine of negative 240 degrees is still negative root 3 over 2. If I know the sine of, um, I don't know, 210 degrees, Oh, bummer. I messed that up, didn't I? Oh, go back. Cosine of 240. I was look, thinking about the wrong angle as I was saying 240. Cosine would be negative one-half. So cosine of a negative 240 would be a negative one-half still. Okay, so sine of 210, that would be right there. Sine of 210 would be negative one-half. Sine of negative 210 would be positive one half. So I still use the same number, but I switch the sign. That's for sine, tangent, cosecant, and secant. Oh, sorry, cosecant and cotangent. But for cosine and secant, those are the ones where you keep those the same. So make sure you practice your board problems on this so you get the hang of this. And you just have to memorize cosine is even, sine and tangent are odd, and then the reciprocals go with them.